Today, let's talk about receiving help from the Helper. I'm going to read to you from John chapter 16, verse 7, where Jesus said these words. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. Do you ever feel like everything is a struggle and nothing really comes easily? Sometimes that's exactly how life feels. Some years ago, I read something strange about an airplane at the airport in Rome. Striking ground workers had refused to tow a British Airways jet from the terminal so it couldn't take off. So 15 passengers got out and pushed the plane back far enough so that it could start its engines and take off. That flight to London only lost one hour. Now, I can't imagine an airplane trip like that, but it would be curious indeed to have to push something that was intended to carry you along. But so many of us feel like we have to push along our Christian lives when God intended our lives to be flying in the power of the Holy Spirit. I can just imagine the passengers pushing a jet, straining and groaning all the time and wondering why they couldn't be relaxing, being carried by the jet instead of them pushing it on the runway. Now, God wants us to have the same kind of yielded relationship to his spirit where we will let him carry us instead of us feeling like we need to push him. And a big part of this is simply waiting on the Lord. Many of us think of waiting on the Lord as really a passive thing. You know, kind of like sitting in a doctor's waiting room until he's ready to see us. We figure that when God gets around to us, our name will be called. That's not the right way to think of waiting on the Lord at all. It's more like what a waiter does for a guest at a table patiently standing by, seeing if there's any way that he can serve or please the one he's waiting on. When we give our attention and our desire to serve the Lord in that way, he will guide us, and we won't have to feel that we're pushing him at all. Now, when's the last time you simply sat before the Lord like a waiter waits on a table? You're trying to see what he would have you do and showing you how you could please him. There is no better way to gain God's strength than to do that. Remember what Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So today, wait on the Lord and let his wings carry you.